There are tons of amazing armor sets in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, but it can be difficult to know which are the strongest and how to get them. So I wanted to give you my top 5 armor choices with some info about how you can get them yourselves. Shout out to Riley Jacobs for giving me this idea, this one is for you bud. So starting with the Fallen Hero Armor. Recently added to the game with the Tombs of the Fallen challenges, this really good looking armor set has an incredible ability where getting hit drops a pulse bomb that explodes after a delay, dealing damage and knocking down enemies. I actually had to take this armor off after a few days as it was so incredibly overpowered. In order to get this, you'll need to complete the four Tombs of the Fallen challenges and they are located as thus. The Mania Sanctum just across the river behind Ravensthorpe, the Boudicca Tomb in East Anglia north of Brisley Farm, the Venetus Tomb in Eurishire across the river and north of Snottingham, and the Castlevanius Tomb in Shropshire west of Repton. If you think you're in the right area but you can't find the tomb, you soon in to spot a sort of green whirlwind showing their location. These challenges are pretty tough and will take you around 2 hours to complete them all. Good luck! Next up we have Thor's armor which is likely the most difficult armor to get in the entire game. With perks of increased speed when stunning an enemy and an additional increase to your stun chance, this armor really will have you feeling like a god. In order to get this, you'll need to defeat the three daughters of Lyrion and then get Thor's cape which you'll obtain from defeating all of the Order of the Ancients, so you'll be looking to do this towards the end of the main storyline. Never fear though, I've got videos for the entire set of Thor's armor already made which you can find in the description and on screen now. It does also give you the bonus of being able to collect Mjolnir though. Moving on we have a personal favorite of mine, the lovely looking St George's armor set which you can get from completing the River Aids quest which were added in February 2021. The perks include an increased attack after impaling an enemy and an additional increase to speed which means if you're using great swords and spears this one is going to work incredibly well for you. Getting the armor is all relatively simple, just go and find them during the River Raids quests, but if you need an extra hand just go and watch my video on it for a bit of an extra steer. Next up we have the authentic looking Dublin Champion armor set which you'll only be able to get if you've got the Wrath of the Druids expansion pack. The perks include an increase to range damage and stealth damage, fantastic if you like to play a little more stealthily and use your bow. These pieces are scattered across the relatively small map of Ireland and if you need some help in finding them then check out my previous video on screen now and again in the description. And finally we come to the Druidic armor set, again which you'll have to have the Wrath of the Druids expansion pack in order to obtain. The perks include some health restored after 3 hits on the same enemy and an additional increase to melee damage and poison build up resistance. If you're using sea axes, short swords, spears and bearded axes, basically any fast weapon, then this is the armor set for you. Just like the Dublin Champion armor set, you'll also find this scattered around Ireland and for the specific locations just check out my previous video. Now of course these are my favorite armor sets but I'm sure you have your favorites too so let me know down in the comments which ones you think deserve a mention. I'm Einside George and for the strongest weapons in Assassin's Creed Valhalla then why not check out my previous video.